All right, guys, I got a serious thing we need to talk about. As you can tell, I'm down here in the bass cave. I've got the fish tank, bonsai trees. But we need to talk about bass, bass fish. Now, I've already been called out on it. One of my, you know, profile pictures has me holding a bass like this, giving it a kiss. Well, this isn't how you hold a bass, especially a real big bass. I know that. People know that. But, like, I didn't, you know, I didn't knock you in the head and take you home and eat you. I, you know, I gave you a kiss and I released you. I'm sorry your jaw hurt. But in all seriousness, when you're catching a fish, if you plan on releasing it, and I've seen everything, like, this is probably the least of the worries I've seen. I've seen people grab them, flip them, pull them up on the bank, roll them around, rub them, and do all kinds of stuff and then throw them back in the water like well <clears throat> I don't know if that fish is gonna make it or not you know you, you just like wrestled him around you took all the slime coat off the side which leaves him open to infections and all kinds of stuff so you catch a big bass especially you know yeah hold it by that jaw the bottom jaw and usually when you keep the mouth open they're less likely to flop kind of like a little kitten you grab it on the back of the neck, you know, and people tell you not to do that either. But that's how the mamas carry them around. And the minute you grab them like that, they usually just, you know, it's kind of in their nature. You can do whatever you want to with them. They won't try to scratch and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, largemouth bass and a lot of other fish are like that. You, you get them by that bottom jaw, open mouth, but you don't do this because that can do some damage. This isn't going to hurt them at all. And they tend to not do anything, but everybody's grabbing by the boat and they're flipping them in the boat and flopping them around. And then I'm getting crap for doing this once for a picture, but which I, you know, probably shouldn't have. But like I said, I do catch and release probably 99.97% of my bass. So it's not really, you know, the end of the world because technically, you know, if you've bought a fishing license and you're out fishing and you catch a fish that's legally able to be caught then within the limits of whatever at the place you water body water you're fishing this is your fish now you have that choice do i keep it do i take it home you know do i release it do i take it home and eat it do you know do i flop it around and beat it and kill it and throw it back in the water which i as far as i know i don't think it's a crime to even do that you don't want to do that you want to catch it get a picture of it or whatever and i can't really show it here because I'm holding my uh, camera up but you want to have it supported on the back side with your hand, other hand holding it to where there's no pressure up here on the jaw because if you don't then that's when they, they kind of get like lock jaw like it, it, it can actually make them where their mouth stuck open which I recommend anytime you're catching any bass because maybe you caught it and you yanked so hard that you, you gave it lock jaw just by the set in the hook or whatever you did that when you release a bass you know you set it down in the water and before you really let go you put your other hand down there kind of get it level and, and kind of let go of the mouth but make sure the mouth shuts and the fish swims away right you know when you can like you've probably seen in my videos already I'm like way up on this steep bank and they're little bass and I just kind of toss them back in the water you know so it's not the end of the world you know we're, that's, you know whatever you do don't call PETA and tell them I did that but you know just be sensible with them don't you know they are a live creature you know show them some respect they are technically yours once you've caught them but you know your kids are yours you're gonna like beat that well maybe some of you do but don't beat your kids either so anyway if you found this video informational funny liked it hated it hit that button down below like if you hated it comment like dude you suck what is up with turn that i know I, this fish is already dead i didn't hurt you no know, fish bass especially not even goldfish were harmed during the filming of this video thanks for watching okay guys here's just some pics showing that uh, I do know how to hold a bass and I actually I know the video is sort of funny but I do take it seriously to get them caught and released if you're gonna release the fish without doing it as much as you can the best way to do that is not handle you know no more than you have to just get them up get a pig get them get them back in the water and if the bigger fish you want to hold sideways for a pick, just make sure and uh, support the backside of that fish. Thank you.